Hey guys, this is Tim from Dim Drive with a quick video on setting up Star Citizen to work with Dim Drive. So we're going to launch Dim Drive from within Steam. We're going to close the little window. We're going to go to Apps and we are going to take the Star Citizen shortcut. We're just going to click and drag it. And in addition, we are going to set up the Star Citizen data files. So if we were to open up the file location for Star Citizen, we notice that we have a launcher here. But then if we go back into the Star Citizen directory, we have a directory that holds all of the Star Citizen data. And it is the client directory here. If we look at the properties here, we can see it's 26 gigs of data. So we're going to drag Dim, Dim Drive over here, and we're going to click the folder. And we're going to click both of them to be on. We're going to set Dim Drive to be about 28 gigs. We can see here it's a little bit less. And then we are going to turn Dim Drive on, and it's going to copy the files over into Dim Drive. All right, here we have a quick little stopwatch, a way that I can track time. And we are going to click and move Dim Drive over here. Um, now, real quick, if we take a look at the Star Citizen folder here, we will see that we have a couple new directories. We have a Citizen Client as well as a Launcher. And these directories, if we look, you'll see a little arrow on them right here. Now, if we go back into Dim Drive, we go to the settings, we'll see that we created a Z drive with 28 gigs in size. And if we open up that drive, we will see it has a launcher and then a citizen client directory. If we go back to the Star Citizen folder, we see that we have a launcher and a citizen client with a little link symbol. That means a symbolic link. If we click on properties, we will see that it is actually a link to the Z drive dd.1-launcher. And remember, if we go back to the Z drive, we'll see that we have a dd1.launcher. And in the Star Citizen folder, and this is the install directory, by the way, we see another one here with a link to the citizen client. We go to here, and we see that's a symbolic link back to the Z drive as well. And the Z drive is the dim drive that was created. And for example, if we look at the citizen client, we'll see that it is 26 gigs in size. Uh, Dim Drive has some things that uh, built in to ensure file integrity, such as if your PC crashes, nothing will be corrupted with Star Citizen. And we can take a look here and we have these pre-sync directories. That's Dim Drive's way of making sure that we have a copy of the game data still on your normal hard drive. That way, if anything crashes, you won't have any corrupted data. So we're going to minimize this and minimize this, and we're going to launch Star Citizen, and we're going to click the timer start button and see how long it takes. So we're going to hit the start button. We're going to click yes. We are going to log in, and we may get one of those window prompts uh, once we log in. Hopefully I typed my password correctly. There we go. So the second I hit this uh, launch, I'm going to click start as fast as I can. And hopefully we'll be able to have some good timing here. Turn the game volume down a little bit. And we're going to let the game load all the way until the point where I can hit the tilde button. And then that'll be the end load as far as what this test will be uh, tracking. So here we go. Launch, hitting start. So we're tracking the amount of time it takes my computer to load Star Citizen off a of dim drive. And uh, this computer is an i7-4710MQ, I believe. I have 32 gigs of RAM and a GeForce GTX 970M. Uh, this is a laptop, so it's the mobile 970 and it's the mobile i7 processor. And I believe I have... 1333 megahertz uh, low power DDR memory. So kind of the slower memory. Ah, all right, so we got to basically 40 seconds. I was talking too much uh, and I didn't escape out of it right away. But about 40 seconds here uh, for Star Citizen to load off a dim drive. All right, here, I opened up a notepad real quick. So uh, dim drive load... We'll say it was between 39-ish. Well, we'll say 40 seconds. I believe it was 39, 38. Um, I was a little slow to react. So let's uh, clear this. And we are going to load it without dim drive. 
And real quick, we're just going to exit the game. And we have it running in a windowed mode just so we have an easier way of moving around our video recording and showing the stopwatch and all that stuff. So we're going to exit the game. And let's see here. You'll notice in dim drive, you see all these synced files. These look like these are just log files, your XML configurations. Whenever something changes in the actual game, dim drive writes that back to the uh, original hard drive. And uh, again, it's one of those things where uh, if there's any crashing or your computer unpowers or whatever it is, you, you don't lose any of the data from the actual game. And if we go back into the Star Citizen directory, we can actually see a post sync directory. And this post sync will have the modified files, such as game.log was just modified and some JSON files and a bunch of XML files. So again, if your PC crashes or turns off or whatever while dim drives are running, you won't lose any save game data or change files or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and close Star Citizen here. And we'll notice that <clears throat> we'll turn uh, dim drive off. It looks like it's uh, just synced another file here. I have no idea what this is, but the profile in XML, that looks like that is a sensible file. But we're going to turn dim drive off now. And we can see dim drive is making sure all the synchronizing is done, which it was. And we're going to uh, pay attention to the directory here and notice that the symbolic link directories are no longer there. And the backup files are no longer there as well because dim drive is off and the backup files are no longer needed. So we're going to just uh, close dim drive and we're going to start Star Citizen as we normally would. And let's start it right here. And we're going to do the same methodology of hitting the uh, start button and trying to do it as quickly as we can. So let's minimize this. Hit the uh, start button. Hit yes. And we probably have to log in again. All right. I am by no means not even a novice as far as how Star Citizen works. So I'm trying to learn the game a little bit more so I can show you a little bit more of a video of using the software within the game. Um, but at least initially, we'll review uh, what it is to set up Dim Drive and how to launch it with Star Citizen. So again, I'm going to click Launch, and I'm going to hit that Start button as fast as I can. There we go. So we're going to get to the point where I can hit the tilde key and bring up the um, the console uh, area within Star Citizen. And I think I was maybe one and a half, two seconds behind on dim drive um, from talking too much. And I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more accurate. But we're already half a minute into it. Dim drive was 40 seconds. I think it was closer to 39 seconds. Uh, but we're going to let this uh, do its thing. And again, we're in windowed mode just so I can kind of move my hands around the uh, Windows desktop a little bit better because Star Citizen uh, snaps the mouse cursor uh, within the game window and kind of locks it in, which makes it a little bit difficult to do a video recording. And yeah, I'm uh, really excited about this game. Really, really excited about this game. Um, I have a lot of learning to do. Uh, and I'm kind of excited to interact with the Reddit uh, community for Star Citizen and learn a little bit more of, of doing different arena games. Um, Ah, uh, close enough. Yeah. All right, let's be fair. We're going to take off maybe... Uh, we'll take off maybe two seconds here um, because I hit the wrong key and uh, <laughs> couldn't get the uh, pause key done correctly. So it says 115, but we're going to give it a minute 13. So let's say normal SC uh, load is... Um, we're going to give it one... Well, let's do it a little bit easier. Let's say 73 seconds. So again, it said 115, but we're going to be a little bit fair and take off two seconds because of my a uh, little bit of my hesitation there. Um, actually, more trying to locate the tilde key on my laptop. So uh, we can see here that there is a uh, our initial load reduction of 33 seconds, which I feel like that's a pretty that's a pretty significant amount of time. Um, and now, in case you guys are wondering, what is the speed of my systems on a dim drive here? Let me just 
close this here and we're going to start up crystal disk mark let's uh close star citizen just to kind of give you guys an example um I have Star Citizen installed on my E drive, and we're just going to do a quick, uh, let's do a 4K, no, let's do a sequential benchmark. Uh, while we're doing that, we're going to load up Dim Drive one more time. So this is, this is the drive right now. This is my hard drive that uh, Star Citizen is installed on, and it's a fairly fast uh, mechanical hard drive. It gets right around 100 megabytes a second. And let's go and test what I'm getting for my dim drive speed. And let's set nothing to be configured. And let's just turn it on here. So my hard drive gets about 100 megabytes a second. And my dim drive, let's put dim drive up here so you guys can uh, get a little bit of a uh, understanding that it's with dim drive uh, let's see here dim drive is my z drive again if we go back to here we can see z drive um, and let's just do a real quick uh, see what the 100 meg z and then the sequential so i'm guessing i probably get because this is a slow laptop maybe five gigs a second something like that but we'll we'll see here and again this is a uh i believe it's 13 33 megahertz, low power uh, DDR3 memory. So it looks like about four gigs a second. And if you have a desktop, your RAM is going to be leaps and bounds faster than what Dim Drive uh, uh, is showing on my laptop. Uh, wow, it looks like we're getting between four and seven and a half uh, gigabytes a second. Um, that's actually faster than I thought I would get on a laptop. So the speed difference that you've seen here. And we're going to show dim drives load was 40 seconds. Normal load is 73 seconds. The speeds that you see here are indicative of playing uh, Star Citizen on a laptop. So let me just jot this down. Um, test specs are a G751 laptop, one terabyte HD at, we'll say roughly 100 megabytes a second, and then a uh, dim drive at we're gonna average out but well let's just say four thousand megabytes to seven and a half thousand megabytes a second and my memory uh is at i believe it's 13 megahertz low power ddr3 let's say is at ram so hopefully this gives you guys a uh, kind of a quick video about uh, using Dim Drive with Star Citizen. And uh, again, I'm, I'm making this video in response to the uh, Star Citizen Reddit community. And you guys have been a big help in showing me a little bit about Star Citizen. And about a month ago, I spoke with a couple of you guys and you guys helped me install it and pick a ship and kind of, kind of get some things initially going. So hopefully this answers the initial questions about dim drive with star citizen at least setting up dim drive with star citizen as well as the initial loading i'm hoping to follow us up with more videos to show star citizen actually being played using dim drive so if you have any questions about dim drive you can visit dimdrive.com or you can visit the star citizen or i'm sorry the uh <laughs> the steam page and just search for dim drive on steam um, as Dim Drive is also on Steam. So thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.